Right, good day and welcome to today's video in which we're going to be looking at the concatenate formula. Concatenate! Okay, big one. Um, sometimes a lot of confusion around it, but let's take a step back, break it down, and then we can work on it from there. So, the idea with concatenate is that you are joining things in order to form something new. So, in this case, I've got um, my username, sorry, my name, surname, and number. And let me just change that to a different color, each one of them. So I've got the name John, I've got Smith, and I've got a number. And I want to create from these, I want to create different, you know, username combinations. But in order to do that, I need to just take a step back and look at the left and right formula quickly. So if you'll remember, the left formula, which we start with equals left, we open our bracket and let's say we go with John. So we are saying that we want to take characters from the left, starting from the left hand side of cell D4, whatever's in cell D4. And we pop in a semicolon and say uh, we want two characters from the left hand side, close our bracket and hit enter. Now, if this name changes to Colin, if this name changes to Smithing, doesn't matter, <laughs> doesn't matter what it changes to. Um, the formula will always take two characters from the left hand side of whatever's in here. If we go right, we can say equals right, and we're going to say um, we want three characters from the right hand side of whatever is in cell E4. So we're going to semicolon, and we're going to put three characters, and there we go. Okay, so this is just understanding left and right. Because in concatenate, we are going to join these things together. So I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. I'm actually just going to merge um, these fields over here. So let's go type and um, I'm going to go insert. Okay, so in this one, you'll see uh, what I'm going to do slightly differently. So with the first one, I now type in concatenate and you can see it comes up. Right, as one of the formulas. So, concatenate, and we open up our bracket. Right, so what are we going to do now? What do we want to concatenate? Now, if I just say I want to concatenate that, semicolon, that, semicolon, that, and I close my bracket, it will combine everything. All right, if I want a space in there, then Remember what I've got to do? I've got to put in my inverted commas and my semicolon. If I hit enter, look at that, John Smith. Let's go again. So each, each item I'm joining, I need to put a semicolon after it. So D4, semicolon. Then I'm putting in inverted commas, space inverted commas, semicolon. E4, inverted, sorry, semicolon. Then again, inverted commas, space inverted comma, and enter and you can see I've joined all that together but I've actually inserted spaces in there. But what if I want to use a username where I'm going to take you know a few characters from the one, the other and join it to this number. Okay, now this is how we do this. Let's erase all of this and we start in again equals concatenate. Now we are going to take our left and right formula and we're going to put it inside of concatenate. So we're going to go left, and as we would do the normal formula, we're going to say, open bracket, D4, semicolon, 2, and we're going to close our bracket as we would normally do it. Then we're going to go comma, and we're going to go right, open our bracket, and what's that? E4, semicolon, 3, we're going to close our bracket, have another comma and now we are just going to put in the number three five four seven now we just want to check our brackets one is open one is closed open closed open closed okay and there we have our concatenate formula. You'll see that when I used commas, it didn't work. 
Okay, so in order for me to separate this whole left formula from the right formula and from the number, okay, so that we have three distinct um, items that we are joining together, we needed to use that semicolon. So please don't forget that. You've seen what it does um, if we put in our just a normal comma like we would in, a, um, in an if function or a nested if. You'll see that's what it tells us. So when we go now and we put in our semicolon, that then gives us our concatenated answer. Okay, so there we've joined the name, surname, number. Now let's go and do it a different way. We're going to go to the formulas tab, we're going to go to insert function, and here on top we're going to type in concatenate, and then click on go. All right, double click on that, and now it brings up our box concatenate. You'll see it's already populated that over there. Now it's asking, well, what do you want to do? So, okay, I want to concatenate that one with, so that one over there, click in the next one, with this particular item. And let me move this over. And then in the third one, I want to do that. Okay, I can then click OK. And you'll see it now joins all three of these. It does not give me the option to put in the left and right. So you can use or do, uh, do just the normal concatenate formula uh, using either what I've shown you or the insert function. But when you need to take characters from each one of these items, whether it's two or three or four, um, and join them all together, then you'll have to use the left and right. Please remember that they will um, tell you how many characters from the left, how many from the right, uh, and then you can join it as per the instruction. Okay, so I hope that's clear on concatenate.